it's another nice morning sun's shining again best time of the year this is a little bit more tricky to figure out where to park this thing I'll be honest than what it was with the motorbike so we're just gonna try and probably just park her here I think that'll do went out for a little drive last night in it and I have to say I really like it it's pretty nifty I was also looking online to try and figure out what we're going to do about getting a mattress. Now, I don't want to spend too much money, just because I'm hoping not to live in the back of the van for too long. So, yeah. I've got a few days still in the trailer, but, yeah, it's not ideal, really. We don't want to be living out the back of a van. But I have found a couple of reasonable options in the meantime. Right, so it's dead early. May as well crack on with it. We need to take the cows out. Dead sunny day. Definitely don't want to be stuck in for too long. So let's let the girls out and do the normal jobs of cleaning up. Checking the feed, which still looks pretty fine. I mean, I guess that helps when you've only got six cows. But yeah, bedding might need a bit of topping up. No wrong with the water. So let's get these girls out so they can relax a bit. Right, so there we go. All the jobs are done with the cows. Didn't take too long now. I am getting a lot quicker at that. About an hour and 20 minutes today. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm hoping to shift some of this muck soon. We haven't got too much here. We have got the spreader loaded up. So that's got enough in for one load. We've probably got definitely enough for a, another load there. And we're starting to collect a little bit more over here. So I think we've got enough to put on the grass field. So let's try do that today. That would be a good idea. That hot air balloon, I see that every day. I bet they make some serious cash, especially in this weather. It's a nice view up there. It really is. So we did the hay yesterday and we put her on the trailer. We didn't have a chance to put them away. So we're going to do that today as well. Not too busy today. Try to get the muck spread. Put the hay away. Don't really want to be going crazy today. It's a scorcher. Yeah, it really is red hot today. Uh, so I'm trying to think what to do first. I mean, we could go out, spread the muck, or we can put the bales away. Yeah, I think it actually would be a good idea to put the bales away. So let's jump in and uh, we'll try and get a bit of a better angle for the load all. We do need to get some fuel on this as well, so I'll make sure to do that as well. Might be a good idea to back into the field and take it from there. Gives us a wider angle. Bale fork's already on the load all as well, so we don't have to worry about that. Take a time today. And I am happy with the amount of hay we've got, and even George did say he was surprised at the uh, amount that we picked up from that. But it's good news, I mean, we've started to clean off some of the stuff, repairing some of the stuff. We've got a lot going on, really. So, I'm trying to think, should I take it off? I don't think I should, actually. It might go rolling down the hill. Um, yeah, it's not the best place to unload, is it? I'm trying to think. Do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll move that. I don't think that's a very good spot for it. But I do want to unload so I can go get fuel in. We haven't got enough cows as well to graze this whole field. I'm going to have to mention this to George. Just to let him know that six cows probably isn't enough to graze this. Well, in fact, it's definitely not enough to graze this. So I think it makes sense to do some mowing in this. Especially when we get the mower back. We can sort that out. Right, so that's better. We'll leave that there. It's on level ground. And uh, we'll go fuel up the Ford and... Yeah, then we'll get the load all out and start putting them away. I am hopeful as well. We've got enough fuel. I haven't seen the diesel truck come by recently, so let's hope we've got enough. He did say once a week, George did, when he was showing, around the, showing us around the farm. There we go. I think that should be enough. 
yep, we're absolutely full on that one. That's good news. So let's swing this around. We'll park her about here, because we are going to need to use the Ford when we go and spread that muck. Right, so let's crack on with this. Oh, well, who's this now? George. Morning, George. How's it going? Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Yourself? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. It's a nice day today. Sun's out. Done the cows. They're all out in the fields. I'm just about to put the hay bales away. Ah, no problem. You do know you left the row out in the field yesterday. I did do that. You're right. I will make sure to put it back today. I am going to go spread the muck as well. I thought it'd be a good chance to do that. Yeah, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it, Scroft. Can you come meet me by the row? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll come straight down now to you. Give me two seconds, George. I'll be, I'll be with you, mate. I'll just walk across now. It's a bit random. Hmm. I'm completely confused to what this could possibly be. I mean, at first I thought he was a bit angry. Or not angry, but not happy with me leaving the row out in the field. But I guess we'll find out. Let's go see what he wants. Right, so there's the, the row. And there's George. All right, George. What's this, mate? This is for you. Are you for real? Seriously? I don't know what to say, mate. I really don't. I'm taken back by it. Well, you've done such a good job. You've impressed me. You just carry on doing the exact same job you've been doing so far. I'm going to pay you £400 a week, but you can also stay on this land for free. Now, I have to say, I have got a bit lucky with this. One of my mates tried to sell this at a farm market, couldn't shift it, save, it, save his life, so I've got it a bit cheap. But I'm happy for you to stay in that. You've got water, you've got electricity, and also you can use just the shed behind to, to store some of your boxes from your truck trailer because you're not going to be able to fit everything in there. But you've got a space there for parking, nice little bed inside, stove, everything you pretty much need. You're set in there. Like I said, you can use the shed behind. Try to keep the boxes away from the right-hand side of the shed, though tends to leak that sounds excellent George honestly you don't know how much weight's just been lifted off me um, I mean I was happy to stay in the back of the van for a bit but long term but I can see myself being really content with this so thanks so much George really do appreciate this right, I best go take a look inside so is it open yeah yeah go check it out Alright, so this is where we're going to stay. Let's give us a little stove and got a microwave, fridge, table, and uh, somewhere to sleep. Do you know what? For a lot of people, that wouldn't be perfect. But that's perfect for me. It really is. Thank you, George. Um, I guess I'll start moving some stuff there. Not today. I'll, I'll make sure I do it in my own time. But uh, um, I'll make sure to move it round here, you say. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, I know what you mean now. Yeah, I'll put the box in there. Uh, that is excellent news. Made my day, that is, George. Really has. Hey, I also put your chair and table here. So when you're sitting out in the evening, you can watch the grass grow. I can watch it grow before I mow it again. Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> right, um, I best crack on. I've got some bales to put away. I want to get that muck shifted as well. But yeah, thanks. Honestly, thanks. Made my day that has, George. Really has. Happy to help. Deserve it. Wow, man. That is awesome. That really is. What a nice gesture. At least we've got somewhere to stay. I mean, that's perfect for me. I don't need too much. Really, right across the road from where I'm working. I mean, I'm earning an extra hundred pound, technically four hundred pound, and I'm getting some accommodation. I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm a lot more happier now. I mean, I was happy anyway. I was enjoying the job. You know, it's such a better job than what I was doing. But to have some accommodation, it just takes it all, all that stress away. I really now just can focus on 
doing this, helping George progress his farm, because I think I get the impression sometimes from George that he feel he feels like he wants a bit more respect from the likes of Tony and Mick, so he can show just about what he can do. But it's difficult on your own, you know. He's on his own before, so he does need help. He does need help. So at least we're here to help him, and it just shows that if we do do the job right, you get rewarded, and that's saying hard work pays off truly has been shown today anyway let's focus on doing this because we don't want to get too uh, distracted by everything we need to make sure we carry on and get the jobs done so let's get in the load all we'll start putting the bales away i'm probably going to stack them just here next to the hay but i want to try and leave a bit of a gap because we want to try and consume the older hay bales first and um obviously the, the round bales need to get gone before we do anything else so Let's get in load all and we'll uh, start doing this. Maybe I'm trying to push the boundary on this one. Put four bales high. I think we can do it. I think we can just about do this. I mean, I can't see much. What I can do is try and just see out the left hand side of them. Take us take a time. Steady as we go on this. Alright, so like I said, we want to give a bit of a gap so we can just get behind and pick up a bale every now and again when we need it. But then again, six cows. I don't really think we need worry too much about getting in and out of here that often. It's not like we're going to be consuming feed every day from a fresh bale. So we'll leave them on an angle like that. And there we go. I'm happy with that. Right, so the last three. Last three bales. Not taking me too long. I might take me time, but. It's not taking too long at all. I did bring the tractor and hooked it up just because I was afraid of the, the back end of the trailer tipping as I was taking the bales from the front, so I thought it'd be a little bit too heavy. So just to be safe, I hooked the tractor back up, which I think was the right thing to do, probably. So last load, just drop this down, push it forward a little bit, just give it a bit of a nudge. And uh, back out, and that's it, job done. So what we'll do is we'll lift this up. Don't need this now. Put the bales are fine there. We don't need any out, so we may as well just park up the load all and turn her off. Not the best stacking, but not too bad. Does the job. They're all away, and that's the main thing. Having a look round here, I mean, it's still a bit of a mess on this yard. But I was looking as well. We've got a plow. We've actually got a plow. We could if we can get some form of mulcher. We need a mulcher to get rid of that old crop that's just completely weeded through, battered ground, but still tempted I am to try and push him in that direction a little bit onto the arable. I think we could do small, small crop field. I mean, it just depends how much getting this harvester fixed as well. Tried to jump in this the other day just to see what it was like inside. Not too bad inside, in all fairness. A bit of mould, as you can imagine, sitting there for quite some time. But I started it up, well, I tried to, and it just dead it's completely dead i don't know if it's just something as simple as a battery just needs a jump start but it's it's just dead no joy on that so let's go and bring the trailer um I'm trying to think where I park it i mean we can probably try and back it in here i'd say it's out the way i mean we do put the row there though so hmm i mean we could leave it in the field i guess we'll just leave it here yeah, why not? Leave it there. So, I guess get hooked up and uh, we'll do the muck spreading. What time is it now? Quarter past ten? Not too bad. Oh, I hope I've got another phone call. Now, who's this? That's Mick. Hey, Mick. Everything alright? Yeah, all good. How's the van treating you? Pretty good. I'm enjoying it. It's not a bad runner, in all fairness. I mean, for the age it is. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I'm glad to hear it, really am. Right, 
Mass is ready to be picked up. Mo is ready to be picked up. So if you want to pop down, pick it up. That's perfectly fine with me. It's all ready anyway. So let me know when you're here, or let me know when you're coming. If you're coming another day, and uh, you can uh, take it away. I do need a bit of space now in my workshop, so I'd appreciate it if you can pick it up sooner rather than later. Right, no problem. I'll get on the phone to George because I do know he wants the forward servicing as well. I don't know if you've been told about that. Yeah, I know about that. Well, if you want to drop the forward off while you pick the Massey up, it might make it easier for you. I think that's probably best, Mick. I'll just just check with George before I do anything, but I think that's probably the best the best bet. I'll I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Right. So let me just go have a quick chat with George just to see if he wants me to take it back. I don't want to start working on the field if I've got to drop this off and then swap tracks. I'd rather probably get in the Massey. I think Massey will pull that. Um, yeah. Let's have a chat with him. Right, so it's now five past twelve, man. I've been in there for two hours having a good chat with uh, George. I'll tell you one thing. He was on the phone to someone. I don't know who he was on the phone to, but he wasn't happy. He was having a great rant at him. Um, and all I could get out of him was he's got plans. That's all he kept saying. I've got plans. God knows. The plan is we're going to drop this off. We're going to drop this off. We're going to pick up the Massey. We're going to see how it's got, got on and probably give it a clean. So I did say I'd do that when I dropped it off. And then we're going to bring it back. And then we're going to hook up. And we're going to spread some muck before the end of the day. And then, finally... Put cows away, that'll be it for the day. It's in a far up the road from here. But yeah, this is the field that I'm on about. I mean, look at that. Look how old that crap is. I don't even know if it's just mainly weeds now, but we need some sort of mulcher on that just to sort it out. And that'll do the job. Right, so, it's not outside. Um. And uh, there isn't much space, he's right. Ah, there she is. Looks like the mower's hooked up to it, so at least we know where it is. And I'm just going to park the Ford over here. At least he knows where it is. There we go. So let's go take the keys in and we'll get this all swapped out. You can see he's working on the next one. Oh, there she is. So I haven't used this since, well, it's a few weeks now. But I'm hopeful, last time it was awful, this was, I have to admit, it was a nightmare to run, it just kept cutting out, but he says it's all sorted, and I mean, it does look like it's got a new oil filter, which is a good sign, and yeah, I bet it's had a full proper service, maybe an air filter as well, I don't know. So let's go speak to Mick, just drop these keys off and uh, we'll swap everything over. Alright, so he's given me a bit of an update on it, and mower is, he said, spot on, perfectly fine. He's even put fresh blades on. Mass is working, he said, shouldn't have any issues. And the only thing I can think of doing now is just giving this a clean. But now we've gone all red. So we started off blue, and now we're in red on Massey. Sounds pretty good. Sounds a lot better than it did. It's actually got some power behind it now. Does need a clean, though. Probably a fresh coat of paint as well. Oh my god, look at the dirt on top of us. Holy. I don't want to touch that. I'm glad I got a cap on. Alright, we best get back, give this a good clean, get the hose out, and then also park up um, the, the mower. No, I don't want to drag that top, bot that bottom of the mower, I think I am. Just about. That was close. Listen to it purr now. What a difference a service makes. So, let's go quickly park the mower up. Tell you one thing, this has got a lot better turning on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the Ford is perfect as well, you know, with this tight yard. It doesn't have any issues, but this, this is just spot on. Really tight spaces. You don't have any issues at all. So, we want to attach that, attach the three point linkage and that should be fine there and then we're gonna go and give this a quick 
glass with the hose and then I think try and hook it up to the spreader and at least get one load shifted today nice little beast in it that massy there we go so here we go let's see what she looks like when she's clean I have to say it almost looks brand new I mean not quite but it almost does look at it what a nice coat of paint it's still got apart from the scratches but the color is still quite quite vivid I mean a lot of red it kind of gets sun kissed you end up having a bit of a nasty pink but this is pretty good I do like it it's probably kept it out of the sun for a few years right so moment of truth muck spreader will it work it should do a little bit off there now that should be spot on as you can see fall from the first from the time we we're cleaning up and loading everything on and that's fine I think that is perfect right so I've got the PTO in but I can't seem to get these hoses connected I think we've got another issue with it but I still think we can use this I mean it's not ideal without the hoses we're gonna have a few it's not gonna be perfect basically can't open the top bit over there that's we need the hose for that but the actual chains inside will run off the PTO my best guess with this is get it in the field start it running we should be able to shift the muck I'm just hoping without the hoses we'll have enough brake brake force and we need obviously the indicators and everything to work on the back but I mean technically we're not going far we're just literally crossing the road so let's give it a go I think we'll be fine I mean there is only one, one way to find out it's either that or we use the floor but we're gonna have to ask George for that and I don't really want to be doing that so I mean it's pulling it all right so far let's get in the field and we'll get this shifted shouldn't take too long it's not gonna cover the whole field but let's hope we get maybe a third or a quarter done It's nice being uh, the Massey. Nice to have it back. I think ideally this is a job for the Ford, um, definitely. But you know, it'll do the job for the meantime. Come on, girl. There we go. So we'll go around the edge. We'll start off going around the edge. And if we just turn her on. Wow. Don't off send it. And there we go. We're spreading some uh, spreading some muck. So we'll just follow the edge of the field until she empties out. Like I said, it won't last long. But uh, it should do the job. And we can just check how, how thick it's coming out if you want. Just to make sure it's alright, you can see it's probably an even spread that is, not too bad at all it's quite hard to make it out but it is there um, and uh, yeah we're using it and that's the main thing so let's crack on with this and yeah we'll uh, take another job off for today So this has definitely been a bit more than we should have asked of the Massey. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's doing it, but it's just so slow up the hill. It's a bit of a tricky field, really. We need a bit more power, um, and it would have helped if we had the hoses connected in. Uh, but obviously we've got an issue, so we're going to get that fixed. I'll mention it to George. Uh, but as you can see, we're empty, and we've done... I'd say we've done hardly any, to be honest. That one load hasn't gone 
far at all. Um, main reason is we were going so slow, so we were kind of putting probably double application in some patches. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we shift some of the muck, and the main thing is to get it off the farm so it doesn't build up too much. But uh, let's go back, have a quick chat to George. He might want us to leave it or swap tractors but he might just say wait till we get the Ford back because Ford's only getting in for a service it's not getting in for a full repair whereas this had to have a, a repair and a service so it took a lot longer than uh, what I imagine the Ford's going to be I mean we might be able to pick the Ford back up tomorrow or if not in a few days so let's park her up uh, but what we'll do is I'll probably leave it in a good position just to load it up quickly as well because no matter what we do we are going to load it up so here we go PTO drop that off there and yeah we've got the weight as well we need to put back on the Massey and the front loader so what we could do is uh, actually get hooked up with that now I think it's a good idea and uh, get that front loader back on because we can use it to load in Yep, that's that. You can see we've got quite a bit building up. Every time I keep bringing the cows out in the morning and muck them out, and it's uh, building up slowly. Six cows, though. Like I said, six cows, we're never going to have much. We really aren't. It's going to be a challenge just to maintain that one small field. When it comes to fur, we might have to buy some solid fur, um, or even get some contractors in to do some furting if we can't get an actual spreader as well eh, not too bad right so we'll leave that there we'll go speak to George again see what he wants us to do um, and then we'll check about the cows because it's getting close now to about 3 o'clock so we are close Right, so George's plan is to leave it for today. He said we'll sort out tomorrow. He'll have a look with me just to see if we can get the hoses in. If not, we'll use that Ford, or if we get the other one back, we'll use that. He says it's not that urgent anyway. Um, does need a clean as well, so we'll do that at some point. But next job, and the final job, is to get the cows in. Like I said, it's getting on now, um, so if we can get them in. I mean, I did try and convince George to leave them out. This, when it's this kind of weather, you could leave him out overnight, really, but you'd rather bring him in. I think he's, I mean, I do know that he's, he's quite fond of these cows, with his have, only having six. I mean, you may as well name them. There we go. That's them done for the evening. Now, it is only quarter past five, but... Uh, George has said to me I can get off. All the jobs are done pretty much that we can do today. And he's uh, kindly let me go, which is good news because what I'll probably do now is I'll fill the van up with uh, one load of boxes from the trailer and we'll take them down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay the night in that caravan. I don't even know if it's a caravan. It's a bit like a hut, really, but uh, yeah, I don't know what we'll call it from now on. We could call it the caravan. It's definitely not. It is a trailer as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. I'll tell you one thing though, I'm really happy with it and grateful. Uh, but yeah, let's go fill up some boxes and then we'll drop them off. I'll get settled in and I might actually sit out in this evening and have a nice beer and just do what uh, George said, which is watch the grass grow.
Nice.